Buck, congratulations. You've done it yet again into the semi-finals of the World Grand Prix. Just sum up what the emotion's like right now. Like I said before, I'm buzzing. Um, yeah, I'm ecstatic. Uh, I'm really, really happy that I'm in the semi-finals of a major. You touched on earlier that you've been doing this on the floor for a while. How satisfying is it that you've taken that form now onto the big stage? Good, because uh, before the tournament started, a lot of people were saying, yeah, he's a good floor player, but he's not bringing it on stage. So I'm really happy that my game is in some parts coming out on stage. Gary Anderson dispatched, James Wade beaten to nil as well. This must be real pinch yourself territory that you're not just beating these established names, you're absolutely demolishing them. Well, yeah, I'm doing the right things at the right moment. Um, yeah, like I said, I've been doing that on floor tournaments regularly. Um, I've beaten them players, top 10 players before, so I know what I can do. Yesterday, you refused to say you were dreaming about <laughs> winning it. Now you're only two no. games no, 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 no. from glory. When, when do you start thinking about it? I'm not thinking about it. No chance. No. Um, tomorrow is another game, and we'll see from there. But well, I'm not dreaming about anything. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Mike, you said you had a hotel booked until Wednesday. So <laughs> what were your expectations coming into this tournament? Well, the hotel was booked until Wednesday with an option to extend the stay. Well, somehow the hotel mixed it up and, and didn't extend our reservation. So, But every tournament I go into, I want to win. Um, so, no, no, <laughs> the, the mix-up with the hotel has nothing to do with me not believing I can reach a final or win the tournament. And as you mentioned, the first time two Belgians in the quarter-finals of the PDC Major, what's the reaction been like back home in Belgium? Brilliant. Um, my phone has been buzzing for the last day and a half. Um, everyone's saying well done um, to me and to Dimitri. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's brilliant. Will you be sticking around to support Dimitri tonight? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it's the same as yesterday. I played first and he was last. Mm -hmm. And the adrenaline is going to be in my body for another five hours or so, so I can't even sleep. So I'll stay here and watch him. Cheers, Mike. Well Mike, if it is to be Dimitri tomorrow, wouldn't it be a very different game against a friend uh, as it would be if it was true? No, not really. Um, if you asked me that seven years ago, I would say, yeah, I want him to win. But now <laughs> it's just we're friends. But as soon as someone says game on, um, it's business time, so I want to win, he wants to win, so no, on stage you don't have any friends. Is that the, the difference for you over the last few years? It's become obviously your career, your earnings, you need to, you need to be all business up there tomorrow night. Yeah, that's where you need to be. Every single one uh, on, the, uh, on the Pro Tour has to be professional. Um, as, soon, as soon as the game starts, you have to be professional and you want to beat the other guy. And it doesn't matter if it's a good friend or someone you don't know. So, yeah. Thank you, Mike. Welcome. Mike, yesterday you said that practice was awful before you thrashed <laughs> Anderson on that stage. How was it today before you <laughs> matched against James Wade? Same as yesterday. Um, I had some good parts and then for half an hour I couldn't hit a thing. It's with ups and downs, but... I don't care really, as long as it's on stage, it's going well, and, and as long as I can keep that up, it's, it's, I'm glad. Does that mean tomorrow, if practice goes well, you'll start to get a little bit nervous then? Like no, I'll stop practicing. I'll stop practicing if practice goes well. I'll, I'll sit down for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> People always say that champions are made in big moments, and tonight every set went 3 2. The fact that you can hold your nerve when you've got a two time champion like that breathing down your neck, what does that say about you and how you've grown on that stage? That I can hold my nerves? <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's it's darts is a momentum sport, and and uh, tonight the momentum was my side. Mike, we'll see you tomorrow. Well done. Thank you. Mike, congratulations. Um, you mentioned the first ever could be the first ever semi-final with two Belgian players. What would that mean if it was you versus Dimi tomorrow for everyone back at home? Well, um, darts has been really big the last two, three years in Belgium, maybe four years. So yeah, it's 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 brilliant. Um, we had Dimitri against Kim in the last 16 of the Worlds two years ago, but being in the semi-final, I really hope that Dimitri wins. And like I said, we've seen Belgium. The, da the darts over there has just been on a rise. We even saw Luke Littler mention how good mm -hmm. the atmosphere it was on the best atmosphere yeah, he's yeah. played in. Do you think we need to start getting more tournaments over in Belgium? Well. I don't know. It's not. It's not up to me to, to say anything about how a PDC arranges tournaments. I hope um, maybe maybe eventually they, they bring another major to um, to Belgium, but that's up to the PDC. I'm just I'm just playing. Maybe darts. a Premier League night. Maybe, 
Well, that's not up to me to decide. Uh, so. But that'd be the dream. Yeah, of course. Um, Premier League nights, a major. We had a major before, and that was before the boom. Um, so I think now would be a good time to have a major. But again, it's not up to me to decide that. So. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you.